Thank you. Question. You, you had a question. Omer Anadolu Agency, please. Yes, I am from Turkey, and my question is, as you would ask, expect, it's going to be about your relations with Turkey, which doesn't exist. So are you going to maintain your uh, country's previous position about relations with Turkey, or are you going to uh, take another initiative in the future or consider to take another initiative uh, regarding relations with Turkey? <coughs> You know, uh, the problem is that, uh, unfortunately, the relationship with uh, Turkey is, uh, have been uh, connected with the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, and it was uh, done by the Turkish government. And it is a very, a very strange, a strange situation when uh, the relations uh, between two countries um, um, can be uh, can be um, um, so uh, so strongly connected with the uh, with the third country with the situation uh, with the relations uh, of uh, Armenia with the third country and I mean Azerbaijan and it is it, uh, this situation, this uh, perception of our relations, it is the uh, biggest uh, problem for our, our um, um, uh, relations with Turkey. And um, I've said already many times that we, have, uh, we, we are ready to um, establish uh, um, direct uh, relationship with Turkey without any precondition, and uh, we hope that Turkey is Turkey is ready to do the same. Thank you, Laurence. Laurence Nobel d'Armenie. Thank you, uh, sir. Just a question because we heard contradictory rumors about uh, the further establishment of another ministry of the diaspora, or maybe this ministry of the diaspora is going to disappear. So my question is very simple. Are we going to have another structure to replace the ministry of the diaspora, or are we going on with this, this kind of same structure as it is now? And isn't it time to rethink a little bit the structure of the diaspora itself, since we are still talking about a diaspora, but in fact we have many diasporas with an S in the word. Thank you. Uh, you know, I think that um, we have uh, too much ministries in Armenia, and the number of uh, ministries uh, in uh, our country uh, should be cut. And we are in the process of uh, discussing these um, uh, structural reforms. And uh, I'm sure that we will have uh, a ministry of uh, diaspora, but um, but it it can be um, uh, not exclusive ministry. For example, we we have a ministry of uh, of science and education, for example, <coughs> and no one can say that we have no ministry of education, and no one can say that we have no uh, ministry of science. Uh, so uh, we can uh, we can uh, have uh, ministry of um, diaspora, uh, which uh, uh, could be not only uh, not only ministry of diaspora, but can include uh, uh, minister of diaspora. So uh, definitely we will have ministry of diaspora. It depends, uh, and uh, the question is. Um, uh, w uh, which will be the concrete structure and the concrete place of, of that ministry? Um, well, no, my second question, sir, uh, is just can we have an approach from the diaspora community by community, host country by host country, because it doesn't seem like we have a diaspora, a single diaspora, and do you think you're going to change this approach? You know, it is... Uh, an issue that uh, we uh, were discussing and we are discussing um, 
permanently how how to reform, how to change the uh, our government's approach to the diaspora. Because of course we we know and we see that diaspora isn't um, isn't. Uh, um, uh, uh, one uh, one uh, one body and we should uh, we should differentiate our approach toward the uh, different layers of uh, diaspora and uh, uh, the, uh, the different communities of diaspora and even even uh, toward the different layers of the uh, of the same community because we we have uh, we have uh, different layers in every uh, Armenian communi community in all around the world. And of course, we should uh, try to make our policy toward uh, diaspora and uh, toward the diaspora's community more and more efficient. Thank you. Felix La Lavangardia, please. Okay, Mr. Pashinyan. Um, as you have been, you have been described as a liberal, and this is supposed to be a liberal revolution. And you have talked a, a lot about um, open economy. I would like to know your thoughts, your ideas, your projects on uh, social welfare, meaning uh, the health system, pensions, education, the rights of workers, because I think it's very important, because in, in a country where 30% um, uh, of the population is uh, reported to be living below the line of poverty, I think that uh, no government can uh, rely only on the private sector. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I've never said that I'm a liberal. Never said that. And uh, there are some uh, some uh, medias that uh, d describes me um, as a liberal. And yesterday or today, I uh, I um, read in uh, in Western news, uh, newspaper, and there was written that I'm a centrist. And uh, you know uh, the the problem is that uh, I. I think, and it is it is written in in our in the program of our uh, our um, party that in the uh, 21st century there is uh, there uh, is no uh, there aren't clear lines uh, between the ideology political ideologies because because in the 20, 21st centuries. Uh, century, uh, these lines uh, sometime, uh, sometime disappeared, and now we can see that uh, uh, many, many, many liberals that uh, sometime um, they are um, social democrats, and uh, we can see some social democrats with uh, with some liberal views, etc., etc. And uh, you know, it's uh, uh, to be honest, it isn't acceptable for me uh, to uh, to uh, name me or our party as liberal or uh, centrist or social democrat because because I think that we should uh, we should uh, de define uh, the goals uh, and uh, the task that we uh, we should solve and uh, fulfill. And uh, I think uh, that um, uh, these goals, um, these goals are beyond of, uh, as I name, um, uh, isms, beyond of isms, because uh, because because you know, uh, for actually, uh, democracy is uh, maybe it, it, it's kind of liberal idea, but we have uh, we have. Uh, uh, we have uh, democracy in many countries that name themselves as uh, conservative countries, etc. Or uh, in the 21st century, we we have uh, um, uh, uh, communist society with the private uh, private um, property. 
it's 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 uh, according to the ideology it is it is uh, un, unacceptable impossible to have uh, communism and private um, uh, private uh, property in the same place so so i think uh, i think in 21st century things are changing a little bit and uh, Mm, and and uh, I can consider myself as a liberal or centrist or social democrat, and I think that uh, the uh, solution of uh, the uh, issue of poverty in our country, it's uh, it is uh, it uh, should uh, be done through the uh, through the encouraging uh, people's uh, people uh, to. Uh, to develop uh, to, uh, to develop their um, education their skills uh, their uh, and uh, to encourage our people uh, to work and uh, and uh, to be able to um, uh, defend the uh, rights of workers it is uh, you know uh, actually it is our uh, general idea, and it was our general idea within our campaign, that uh, we we have uh, said uh, to our people uh, that uh, we should. Uh, it is on, uh, the only way to solve our uh, problems. Uh, it is uh, to to solve uh, to solve problems through the work, through job, and. Uh, to, uh, it is it is very important for solving uh, social and uh, social problems, uh, national problems through the personal effort, and personal effort it is more important thing to solve any any uh, national problem, and we are uh, going to encourage our people to uh, to bring their personal. Uh, effort uh, to make real changes, and actually, it was a formula for our political uh, political uh, revolution, and uh, only only personal effort uh, of our citizen, every citizen, uh, brought us uh, to uh, this velvet non-violent and people's uh, revolution, and we are going to make the same in the term of economy. And we name it uh, economic revolution, and we uh, we are going to encourage our people to uh, to be involved with their personal effort in um, our economic revolution. And economic revolution, it is uh, most important uh, our goal, and it was uh, our main motto within within the electoral campaign. Gorola, your question is still in first. Gorola, Austrian TV, please. Thank you so much. Um, I have been here in September and now in um, December, so it, it's two and a half months. And what I have felt is that the people are really um, enthusiastic still now, but they have uh, a little bit cooled down. And many people were saying, uh, now the government has the power to deliver. And uh, I have met with people in, um, during your meetings, uh, to election campaign meetings, who said we have come here to greet our king. Don't king? you think that it will be quite hard to meet their, expe uh, their expectations so shortly and so quickly that they won't be disappointed and perhaps organize the next revolution in a year or so? You know the general uh, general uh, meaning of our revolution is uh, is to eradicate the need of revolutions. Because why in Armenia revolution happened? Because people weren't able and there uh, there wasn't real opportunity to change government through the elections. And uh, uh, now it is the general uh, meaning of revolution. Uh, in every every uh, future election, uh, people uh, can uh, uh, decide and change our government, and uh, it is uh, the general uh, general um, uh, agreement 
agreement between our government and uh, and people uh, which which concerns to expectation of our people uh, we um, you know when i was uh, a position leader um, people uh, people um, had uh, expectation from me to make revolution in armenia and uh, it was very freak frequent scene when uh, when someone stopped me in the street and uh, asked uh, why you don't do revolution and uh, every time i answer to uh, to uh, to this person to this people that you know i'm doing what uh, what i should do for revolution that's you that unfortunately uh, aren't doing uh, what you should do for for revolution and now i'm uh, i'm saying the same about the economic revolution of course people uh, people uh, expecting are expecting uh, a huge uh, economic changes and uh, we are going to uh, to create uh, conditions for uh, this kind of changes but my message is the same that uh, uh, I'm I'm going to do all I should do for uh, economic revolution, but this revolution can happen can can happen only only if our uh, our um, citizens and our people or er, every 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 person will bring his personal effort for uh, for this revolution, and it is general idea. There is no, uh, there is no. I, I, um, I um, uh, didn't promise anyone that uh, I will do everything instead of uh, everyone. I didn't promise that. I promised that we will create um, um, necessary atmosphere for business, for economic activity. And we will uh, we will uh, create level playing field. We will uh, uh, we will um, uh, eradicate uh, economic monopolies, uh, illegal restrictions, etc., etc. And we have already uh, done that. And now we want to encourage uh, inv investors from uh, from diaspora, from Armenia, from uh, international investors to come to Armenia and make investments and uh, become a part of uh, political revolution. As, uh, as um, uh, many international journalists uh, became uh, uh, due uh, to their job uh, uh, part of our political revolution, and now we expect that uh, not only journalists but also investors, international investors and uh, international business will come to Armenia and uh, will uh, uh, become a part of our economic revolution and we are going and we are intend intended to uh, create Armenia uh, from agricultural country to the uh, technological country of uh, 21st century and we, I believe and that's fact that we have enough human resources for that and we have political will for that and we have uh, uh, proper atmosphere political and economical atmosphere for that and uh, our hope that uh, uh, that uh, not only Armenian investors from Armenia and uh, from Armenian diaspora uh, but also international investors will uh, will react um, uh, to our changes and will come to Armenia to uh, to take part in our economic revolution. Sara, and uh, we we are going to make Armenia from agricultural country to the uh, industrial and technological country and. Uh, um, I'm sure that we will be able to do that.